What's up guys? Today we're going to be installing a Mushimoto intercooler on this 2018 Focus ST. Here you can see the stock intercooler, it's much smaller and thinner. We're gonna look at the Mushimoto intercooler over here. Much larger surface area, much thicker. Should do a great job. This car is already equipped with the Flowmaster exhaust system, the Flowmaster cold air intake. So this intercooler should be a nice addition, give it some increased horsepower. To install the intercooler, we need to completely remove the front bumper cover. To start, we're going to remove both headlight assemblies and also the hood latch cable. Next, we're going to remove the push pins that connect the front bumper to the lower splash unit. Then we will proceed to take the bumper off. And there's also a clip right where the gap is on the bumper. There's a clip on each side that's tucked in there that will have to come off. Be careful when you're removing the headlight assemblies, they are fragile and very expensive. Once the headlamp and screws are removed, you can unclip the front bumper cover. Once the bumper cover is unclipped, you can pull it back and disconnect the fog lights. The bumper cover is not very heavy, but it's somewhat cumbersome, so I recommend the help of an assistant. This piece is also pretty fragile, so I recommend laying some towels down so you don't scratch up the cover. Once the bumper cover is removed, you can finally see the complete inner core. There are two hoses that need to disconnect it, one on each side. Next, we're going to remove the two Torx bit screws to remove the front bumper filler. It has clips on the bottom. Next, we're going to unclip and remove the plastic front bumper crash absorber. Next, we're going to completely separate the hoses from the inner core. You could use a screwdriver or small pry bar to help you with this. Just make sure you don't cut or puncture the hose. Once the hoses are disconnected, you can remove the last two bolts, one on each side, and then the inner core is ready to come out. Here's a look at the two inner cores side by side. As you can see, the Mushimoto inner core is much bigger in every way and has metal tanks on the sides instead of plastic to keep the air cold. With the inner core on the bench, you can remove the screw and the map sensor. It's also held in by our O ring, so you might need to give it a little bit of a wiggle and a tug to remove it. We're going to install this in the new inner core. Yeah. Now we're ready to install the new Mishimoto inner core. 
You can start by pushing the fittings into the hoses and that will hold it in place. Make sure you transfer the sensor into the new intercooler. Now we're ready to tighten up the hose clamps. Now that the intercooler is bolted in place, we can start installing the pieces opposite the order we remove them. Here's a look at the inner cooler with the bumper cover completely installed. The yellow is a nice contrast against the black paint and it really shows up in oncoming traffic. So that pretty much wraps up today's video. The total install time with a lift is probably just over an hour. I was going to say if you do this on the ground, probably looking at close to two hours. Um, but yeah, it's all buttoned up, ready to go. Uh, so I also have an install video of the exhaust and the cold air intake that I'll put in the links here at the end. Uh, so you can check those out. So thanks for checking out this video. I hope you guys learned something. Uh, be sure you follow me on Instagram and also check out my new Facebook page. Thanks for watching.